coaches. Here's a look at three post-defense concepts from the University of Virginia Cavaliers and their pack line defense. Walling up, choking the post, and post traps. We'll begin with walling up. The hope is to keep the ball out of the post, but when it goes in, the post defender must pop behind and wall up. Get arms high and chest on the offensive player be ready for a confrontation. Here Virginia big man Jack Salt walls up. He keeps his feet moving, becoming a wall on wheels. Arms and hands high, forcing a contested two without fouling. Guards play a role in post defense as well by choking the post. The guard on the strong side may choke the post to shrink the floor for the postman. Stunt until the post puts the ball on the floor. Once they dribble, dig it out. Hard dig off a non-shooter and short dig off a shooter. An example of a post choke versus South Carolina. With the ball in the post, the on-ball defender walls up. Ty Jerome, the guard on the strong side, chokes and digs. The Gamecocks are forced into a tough, contested fadeaway too. times, Virginia launches an all-out assault on the post entry by trapping the post. They do this by sending the forward who is not on the ball to trap with the on-ball defender, forming a big-to-big -big trap. Approach with hands high, ready to deflect the ball. The original defender prevents the baseline turn, and the trapper prevents the middle turn. The strong side guard stays attached and the other two defenders cover nail and rim. Here's an excellent example of Virginia using an aggressive post trap versus the Clemson Tigers. The two forwards are highlighted and they will conjoin to form the post trap, taking away the baseline and middle turn. The help side tandem covers nail and rim. By approaching with high hands and forming an aggressive trap, UVA deflects the pass out of the trap forcing a steal. 